So welcome back all of you here in the, in the auditorium and welcome back everybody online. Uh, we'll start with uh, the next session and for this I welcome Marpe. Um, he's uh, uh, working for the Amazon Sweden Innovation Unit. Um, he's got a very rounded background, worked as a logistician, um, has been involved with academia but is now basically working with OCs in order to be able to bring ideas to fruition and practical solutions that helps to improve our operations. So welcome Marpe for the next session and uh, please go ahead. Thank you very much. So, welcome back everybody. I hope you enjoyed your lunch and uh, also, of course, welcome to the big audience uh, joining us from more than 60 countries online. Uh, this demonstration session, the third one, today is going to be really crowded with a lot of people coming up here, so let's keep the time. Uh, it will be divided in two parts. The first one, we will have demonstrations, three different demonstrations, and the second half will be a, a panel discussion, a separate one. So let's begin with the first part, the demonstration. And I think this is something very interesting that touches upon many of the topics we've been uh, seeing and listening to today. And these three demonstrations that are basically web-based uh, tools are very different with different purposes and backgrounds, but I think that they, they have a very common objective, and that is to uh, make the most and uh, optimize one of, I would say, if not the most, one of the biggest and most important resources that we have, and that's uh, the people within the organization, and uh, how to use their knowledge, capabilities, and skills the best way possible. So the first one uh, is, is presented not by Osvaldo Saume, as it said, because he could not make it due to this issue. But luckily, we have uh, Laura Bernardo that will present to us JITMIT, a uh, high quality telemedicine for low uh, resource settings. Please. Thank you for the kind introduction um, and uh, good afternoon to the audience. Uh, well, I'm going to present today the work of my colleague Osvaldo Saumet, who couldn't make it today, unfortunately, to the venue. Uh, but he's actually the, the author of the abstract. So thank you, Osvaldo. I think he's following us on streaming. So today I'm going to talk about uh, JITMIT, uh, that is a tool that allows for qu high quality telemedicine in, infrastructure, in scenarios with a very low infrastructure, such those we normally encounter when we go to the field. So let me put you a little bit in context. Uh, in Niger, we identified some problems that needed to be addressed. And mainly they were that we had some difficulties in finding uh, high qualified medical staff to provide good uh, service to the patients in the hospitals uh, due to the political situation in the country. So if the patients couldn't receive this uh, medical care on site, they needed to be transferred to the referral hospitals. But this is actually very difficult because they are very far. So it, there's a logistical challenge and furthermore, if the patient is not in good condition, it's very difficult to move it, uh, her or he to, to, the, to the hospital. So that's why we came with the idea of using a telemedicine tool to make a diagnosed, a remote diagnosed and remote uh, following up of the, the treatment of the patient. So that's when uh, JITMIT begins. Uh, JITMIT is a, it's a tool, it's a software tool that it's an open source web uh, real-time uh, communication application which provides with high quality video conference. Um, it's also multi-party so you can have several people participating in the same uh, video conference at the same time. And it's, uh, encrypt, it encrypts the communication so that uh, we have actually a safe, secure, reliable and confidential communication <laughs> between um, the patient and uh, the specialist. So the main characteristics of JITMIT is that it's 100% open source. That means that it doesn't belong to anyone. So it can, it, it can be, um, besides that, it can be adapted. The code can be adapted to our private needs. 
Uh, it's encrypted, so it allows for uh, confidential communication. Uh, you have a high definition video and audio transmission. You don't need an account, and you don't need to install any, any uh, further hardware, so it all runs on a, on a web browser, and it's very user-friendly, so it's very easy to use. Um, there's also the capability of having a recorded session, and uh, it has also an integrated chat. So that's a typical scenario where we would use uh, JITMIT. Imagine you are on the field and you have a, a patient that needs uh, special care, and the, the staff that is on the hospital doesn't have the expertise. So we can uh, organize a virtual meeting room using JITMIT where the supervisor in the cell unit in Barcelona will join, and also specialists that can be anywhere in the world can also join this virtual uh, room to discuss and to, to evaluate the status of the, of the patient. So the best uh, way to see how this tool works is, uh, well, we, we just created a little video. So you just open your web browser, you type uh, the address of the JITMIT, and then you enter the platform. Here you will need uh, the username and the password. So every, every user that uses JITMIT will have a username and a password. And once you enter, you have to create your room, the room you are going to meet with all the, all the other staff that needs to participate in the discussion. So in this case, we create a room called telemedicine. So that's how JITMIT looks like. That's in the office, so <laughs> that's me. <laughs> So you have several options uh, here. So you have a um, user identifier. You can switch on and switch off the video and the camera. You can also record the session. Only the person who has the token is uh, able to record the session. You can set a password, so you can make your room uh, private, so only the people having a password can enter. Um, so then you can invite other people to join. So in this case, you just send invite and your uh, email well, will open and then you just type the, the email of the person you want to invite and will receive the address of the, of the room, the virtual room that has been created. And in case it's, uh, it has a password, the person will also receive the password. Uh, so the person joins, this, that's Osvaldo. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, we talk a little bit, and then uh, here you can also see that uh, you can enable the chat. You will see it on the, on the right-hand side. Uh, and then you can communicate with whoever joins the room. Um, then you can also share a presentation. You can also share a screen if you need to, to show something that is on your laptop. So here you would select the screen you want to share. Uh, you can also enter the, the full screen mode. You can make calls. That it's a feature we are working on at the moment, so it's not fully implemented. And then if you want to just hang up, then you just click the red button. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I hope I'm on time. <laughs> Thank you very much, Laura, for the very nice presentation and demonstration. So we have some questions here. The lady in the back, please. Thank you very much. How well does this system cope with low bandwidth or very unstable internet connections? Uh, well, you, I, maybe Osvaldo can, uh, can direct you better on that. But on, from as far as I know, uh, we are using it also in VSAT communications. We have to allocate a little bit higher bandwidth than in normal projects, but we have test it uh, with a successful result also using VSAT. So it, it, it really works with low infrastructure. Thank you. All right. So one more question, then we will have to move on. Yes, the, the gentleman in, in the back there. Uh, thank you. I'm just curious to know well, what is the role of the supervisor in the, because there was the supervisor from the cell. Well, he, is the, he or she are the, the specialist on the cell, or the medical specialist on, of the cell, so the responsible of the, all the medical staff on the cell. So you will have a specialist 
very uh, specialized on one topic, and then you have the person who is actually supervising all the medical operations on the cell. So he or she also needs to be involved in, in the diagnose or in the consultation. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Laura. You're welcome.